Hey guys, welcome back to Ryan's TV. Today we are at Osaka Bay Area, Osaka Coal Station. In this station, there is Kaiyukan, which is Osaka Aquarium and also big Ferris wheel. Today, we are planning to go into Kaiyukan first and using the cruise and head to the Universal Studios Japan. From Aquarium to Universal Studios Japan, technically it's close to each other. However, if you use the train, you have to all the way back and go into the Universal Studios Japan, so it's kind of far. The best way is using the cruise. It's my first time to use the cruise, so I'm kind of excited. But firstly, let me show you guys how to get to Kaiyukan from here. To the Kaiyukan, use the exit, either one or two. So this is the way. Whenever I visit here, I usually use the motorbike. So I believe this is my very first time to visit here by train. So this is how the exit looks like. There is elevator. So if you have a stroller visiting here with kids, you can use that exit over there. And if you can walk, there is the stairs. Oh, there is Konbini, Lawson, which is a really popular company in Japan. And also the discounted vending machine over here. Usually bottled drink in Japan, it costs 160 Japanese yen. However, this one, cheap one is 100 Japanese yen. And uh, a bit expensive one is 110 Japanese yen. Those are the kind of minor drink, which I usually don't see, but taste pretty similar. One thing you have to be careful is that those kind of cheap vending machine, there is no cashless pay. So you can't use the Suica and the Eco card neither. So you need to use the coins. Going to Kaiyukan, it's super easy. Can you see the Ferris wheel in front? Just follow the direction, yep. Oh, Hokka Hokka Te here. It's the popular Japan chain bento store. They have good and cheap bento, which is warm. So if you want to save money, you can get the bento from here. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. We have a shooting game over here too, yep. About five years ago, I barely see shooting game like that before. However, now, you know, many places targeting the traveler from foreign country. I believe it would be like a gacha phone. I don't know. Somehow I don't see much in Tokyo, but so many in Osaka. So probably in the future, we will see more in Tokyo too. Oh my goodness, really interesting. They have the chawanmushi ramen, which is a Japanese style of pudding. That's the flavor, but uh, very interesting. But I don't think chawanmushi will fit with ramen. How do you guys think? Please let me know in the comment down below. Here we go, big fairy sale. Huge giraffes. We have a leg around over here. I will show you guys later. And also the huge Ferris wheel, which is one of the biggest Ferris wheel in Japan. So this is the map of Kaiyukan. We are over here and the Ferris wheel is over here. We will later visit the marketplace and uh, our boat, the shuttle is over here to the Universal Studios Japan. Oh my goodness. I haven't visited here for a while. The last time when I visit was several years ago, before the pandemic. I made a video inside the Kaiyukan Aquarium. So if you want to see how inside looks like, please check this video. How sweet. For this real ticket, there is a line. They close at 9 p.m. The last ride is 8.45, so 900 Japanese yen if you want to ride the Ferris wheel. Make sure to make the time. So this is the entrance of Marketplace. It's a fan shopping mall. There are many local style Japanese restaurants. There is shooting game. There is a movie theater. But uh, you know, this entrance is fake, so you can't enter. It's just a, you know, retro style Japan. Oh, they sell doteyaki, which is a uh, really popular Japan street food. It's like sukiyaki taste, tastes really good. This is the old style barber in Japan. And it's the cigarette store. Oh, they have a long fried potato and a karagi. It's fun to explore. 
Ah, oh, look at this seafood bowl. Price is 1,700 Japanese yen. Thinking about this is a travel spotter. The price is really good. And the traditional Japan style izakaya. And we back to the food court. This is the main entrance. If you visit here, don't forget to visit this Naniwa Kuishinbo Yokochan. Oh my goodness, I was born to race in Japan, but uh, I think it's my very first time to see so many people over here, even it's the weekday. Well, I can feel that most of them are travelers from foreign country. So yeah, Osaka is getting popular, even before the pandemic. Yeah, never like this before on the weekday. Let's go up. And the second floor, there is a Legoland. Seems like it's super crowded inside. Oh, they have a limitation. You can only stay three hours after the entrance because it's super crowded. So yeah, just keep in your mind. Let's go check the Lego shop. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's a Japan version of Legoland. It's a Hokusai picture. And also the bonsai. Take a guess how much the bonsai costs. 7480 Japanese yen. Oh, it's so cute. Disney Cinderella castle. Nice. It's Spider Man. <laughs> also, the Batman and the Batmobile, too. Also, the Star Wars collection. I grew up with Japanese brick toy, but uh, not the Lego. But seems like Lego looks so fun. So yeah, if I want to raise a kid, probably I will use the Lego and, uh, you know, maybe play with that Batman or Spider-Man. <laughs> that would be fun. Now they have the Pokemon collab with Baskin Robbins. 31 Pokenuts. Natsu is summer in Japanese. Baskin Robbins called 31 in Japan. So if you want to talk about the Baskin Robbins with Japanese friend, you can just call them 31. Otherwise, they might not understand what you are talking about. The first time they talk about the Baskin Robbins, I had no idea. Even I heard it's the ice cream store. And when I after hear the 31, then finally I realized, yes, that's the 31. And here we go. That's the entrance of the Kaiyukan. This area is kind of small, but the uh, Kaiyukan Osaka Aquarium, it's a really nice place. And also, there is a nice shopping street and a Ferris wheel. So if you have visited Osaka, definitely I recommend to visit this Kaiyukan area. Entrance fee costs 2,700 Japanese yen. If you are visiting here, you can always buy the ticket online. Those are the QR code in many languages. So if you are visiting here, maybe you can use this QR code. It's 2.45. The shuttle ferry leaves at 3 p.m. I believe this is the way. <laughs> it's really clear. One thing you have to be careful is that they only have one shuttle ferry per hour in summer vacation. So maybe on the you know usual time they might be less. So make sure to check their time before you visit here. Yeah, it's better because otherwise maybe you have to wait for a very long time. So are we going there by that? Nope, that's for the cruise. So it's a different ship. We are probably using a little bit smaller ship, I expect. But uh, again, it's my first time, so let's see. Yeah, must be over there. The shuttle ferry. Seems like people are going there too. <laughs> oh, is that the one? You know, after checking that ship over there, a little small. <laughs> but uh, who cares? It only costs 900 Japanese yen and uh, takes 10 minutes, so, you know. Probably many people using that ferry shuttle as a transportation, so probably, yeah, that's a right size, I guess. Oh, by the way, hey guys, welcome back to Ryan's TV. I'm Ryan, so no All right, so let's keep walking. Let's go. Riding on the ferry always makes me excited. 
Ooh. Sweet. Okay, so I guess we can get the ticket over here. The price is 900 Japanese yen. But they have a set ticket with aquarium. 3,400 Japanese yen for one way. So here's the ticket. Oh, 100 Japanese yen discount for the Ferris wheel. This one. They have a round trip ticket from Universal Studios Japan over here and over here to Universal Studios Japan. So if you are staying around Universal Studios Japan and you got the extra day, maybe you can use this shuttle. Oh, wait, wait, wait. They are already riding on, so I don't want to miss the ferry, so hold on. Let me explain soon. Oh, let's go. Oh my goodness, feels so good. Unfortunately, so many crowds over there. It's kind of a crowdy day, but uh, always enjoy riding on the cruise. Sweet! Okay, so let me give you guys a tour. Here, there is a place that you can sit down and uh, you can enjoy the cruise. Here, it's much cooler. <laughs> can you believe that? There is a gachapon inside. They have the, you know, related something ocean, but uh, those two are sold out. Even it's a 10 minutes ride, there is a restroom over here, but uh, only one. And in the second floor, we can go outside. Are you guys ready? <laughs> That's the mascot of the Kaiyuka. Here we go. Wow, nice. This side of the sky is cloudy. However, the other side, this side of crowd is a sunny day. So hopefully those crowd will be gone soon. <laughs> oh my goodness, maybe you can't feel that much, but uh, because it's a small cruise, <laughs> that's why kind of shaking more. Even we are stopping over here, I feel that uh, kind of shaking. So maybe if you are easy to get the seasick, probably <laughs> you want to use the train. But uh, I believe it will be fine. Let's see. Oh, it's leaving. <laughs> Sweet. By the way, can you see the bridge in front of you very far? That's the bridge going to the island, which we will have the Osaka Expo. Definitely, I will make the vlog with the Osaka Expo too, so please look forward to it. Alright, sweet, let's go! <laughs> the Ferris wheel. I love the view from here. That's someone waving a hand for me. Probably no one realized. <laughs> it's okay. There's a luxury cruise. Don't worry. Basically going around and coming back at the same place. Uh, if you want to ride a cruise, you can try that Santa Maria one too. Actually, this cruise is pretty fast. The Kaiyuka is already over there. And we see the roller coaster over there. And uh, that's a liver hotel. During the pandemic, they had the really nice deal with the steak dinner. One stay night with spa, less than, I forgot how much, but I think it was like less than 10,000 Japanese yen. It was a really nice hotel. If you haven't, please check this video. You see the building in front, that's Osaka station area. Osaka station to this area are actually it's closed. It's super windy here. Hopefully you guys can hear me well though. If not, probably I will use the voice over. <laughs> Let's see. Wow, beautiful sceneries. Loving it. <laughs> Fancy cruise over there. Does someone waving a hand back for me? No. Oh dear. <laughs> Maybe I should try that one over there too in the future. Well, I think I had tried that before when I was a kid, but I totally don't remember how it looks like because I was a little small kid. So yeah, maybe I can enjoy it more now. I was just playing the game or watching Gachapon inside the ship. 
but uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I can appreciate more. That would be a good way, right? <laughs> yep, I grew up. And here we go. We already arrived to the other end. Oh, and we arrived in front of Hotel Universal Port, which is the official hotel of Universal Studios Japan. And the uh, roller coaster is just over there. So let's go to the Universal City Walk. Oof, that was nice cruise ship. Wow, nice. All right, so let's go. I got this. Sweet. And here we go. We are at the land of Universal Studios Japan. <laughs> Sweet. It's one street away from Universal City Walk. In Universal City Walk, there are so many places to eat, so I'm starving. Let's find something to eat and uh, let's explore the Universal City Walk because I haven't explored it for a while. Let's go! Let's go from inside the Universal Port. Oh, smells nice. I have stayed this hotel before. It's a nice hotel. There are nice flower park. And also, the Minions! Oh, here we can check the waiting time of Universal Studios Japan. Seems like the Hollywood Dream is 65 minutes the roller coaster, which is not that bad. Oh, but the Dramon Y is 100 minutes. So probably there are more kids, so riding, they want to ride on the Dramon ride, which is a really, you know, popular cartoon anime ride. However, the Jujutsu Kaisen is less, 30 minutes, but uh, you know, Jujutsu Kaisen is more like a theater style and the Draymond ride is like a, you know, roller coaster style. The Mario Kart, the Mario World, 135 minutes, but uh, it doesn't mean you can ride it because you need a ticket to enter the Mario World. Well, if you want to see the Summer Vacation Times Universal Studios Japan, please check this video. Oh, sweet. They have a take free drink service. Nice. And also here, it's Minion. They have the Minion room, but uh, it's really cute. However, incredibly expensive too. So yeah, if you have a budget, you can try that Minion room. There is nice bar. Oh, they have tropical cocktail. Sounds good. Oh, and also they have cold stone ice candy. Is this a cold stone one? Oh, maybe this is the one. <laughs> ah, looks pretty good. Oh, here they have a fresh made orange juice machine. There are so many oranges and they will make the juice just right in front of you. The price is 500 Japanese yen. I always wanted to try that. Let's do it. Is it better? compared to the regular orange juice. The orange juice is from Australia. Let me see. The orange is coming, 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 and... Uh, oh, is there orange? Oh, here, my orange. <laughs> Where is my drink? Is it? I can't really see the orange. Oh, the another orange. It's my orange! <laughs> you know, I'm like, it's my orange! It's my orange! <laughs> so funny. That's it? Oh, the another orange is coming. So, so far, they used three orange. Sweet. Can I just take it out? Oh, nice! Actually, it's sealed. Very interesting. There is a place for strolls. Sweet. All right, so let me see if it's different or not. So I'll come by for that. Oh, actually, yeah, I can feel that it's from roots. A little bit sour compared to the you know the regular orange juice. Hmm. I can tell it's healthy, but uh, <laughs> 500 Japanese yen it's kind of pricey. So if you want to try that, you can try that. 
Interesting. I love it. They have One Piece souvenirs and also the Pokemon. Okay, so now let's go to the Universal City Walk. Do you see the roller coaster over there? This is the street that directly going to the Universal Studios Japan's gate. Yeah, that gate is just over there, so it's pretty close. And also, if you are heading to the station, that's a Universal City station. Okay, so first, why don't we go back to the station? When you see this corner, just turn right and keep straight. You will get to the station. Probably most of you guys didn't realize where I am, but uh, now you know where I am. Here we go. Universal City Walk. Seems like less people, huh? We got the Big Green Donkey over here, which is a good and cheap hamburger steak restaurants. And also there is Saizeria, which is a good and cheap Italian restaurants. Of course, the Baba Gump Shrimp, the Takoyaki Purdy Place. There are just so many. Just too many options. I can't decide where to eat. Oh, you know what? Let's go check the Universal Studio store. <laughs> no for food though. Oh my goodness, look at this Snoopy sunglasses. It's so cute. The Minions version as well. It's so nice. I'm wondering how much it costs. Oh, 3,800 Japanese yen. Okay. Nice. <laughs> oh my goodness, they have a Cookie Monster version as well. Sweet. And the Mario hat. Oh, I didn't know that. You can buy the water shoot over here too. I'm wondering how much it costs. 3,500 Japanese yen. Actually, it's not that bad. Uh, yeah. It's a huge water shooter. So this one? Good. I like this Super Mario's cookie. It's so cute. Okay, so let's go to find a place to eat. They have Minion Summer something over there. Seems like there will be the water from there and uh, you can cool down. So those are the food we have. <laughs> no, I can't decide. Just too many options. Oh, what is this? Gotti's beef. Hamburg steak they have. Oh, interesting. I've never tried that. Gotti's interesting. Anyway, firstly, let's go to the upstairs. In the second floor, there is Takopa, where you can try so many different kinds of popular takoyaki restaurants in Japan. Those are all popular takoyaki restaurants in Osaka, and uh, you can try whatever you like. There is a table in the middle, so if you love takoyaki, it's a really fun place to try takoyaki. Sister 390. Ah, that Doria. Looking pretty good with eggplant. What else they have? The hamburger steak and uh, soup. We have Kushiya Monogatari. This place, the deep fried skewers, all you can eat. <laughs> you have to deep fry it by yourself though. The price is 3,400 Japanese yen for 90 minutes. When I was a student, when I was young, I came over here many times and uh, eat the kushikatsu, whichever I like. <laughs> well, that was really fun and uh, yummy, but uh, now, you know, I'm not sure how much I can eat it because it's, you know, it's super sometimes oily so yeah <laughs> now i'm happy with the regular kushikatsu place but uh, if you eat a lot maybe you can try that you have to deep fry it by yourself though but uh, yeah it's good her lock cafe this hawaiian barbecue leaf looking pretty good this would be the option number one let's go check more let's eat Oh, Nolbo, interesting. The Korean food, cheese takarbi, oh, looking good. Some gyopsao, looking good. Price is about 4,000 Japanese yen. For me, I think it's too big, I guess. 
Those noodles looking good too though. Yeah, but I don't think I can finish it by myself. How about the red lobster? Lobster, ogon yaki and roast beef with garlic rice. Oh my goodness. Yummy. <laughs> that lobster. Well, option number two, red lobster. It's ganko, Japanese food. Sushi and sashimi. This tempura lunch, actually dinner, you can refill the rice and the price is 1,780 Japanese yen. Oh, I didn't know that there is Otoya. It's a good and cheap Taishoku place. Not in other country, but in Japan. Yes, the price is right, taste is good. Oh, and Wako. That's a tonkatsu place. You can have the good quality tonkatsu with 1,500 to 2,000 Japanese yen. Shabu shabu all you can eat with 2,500 Japanese yen. Oh, huh. sounds good, huh? And my favorite okonomiyaki place, Fugetsu. One of the best place. Oh, so this is a place, huh? Gotti's beef. Let me see what they have. Okay, it's not as good as the picture. <laughs> I see. But oh, no. looking so good though. <laughs> and the Pomunoki, the omurice place. Oh, the Moana kitchen. Hawaiian food, huh? Yummy. And also, Baba Gump Shrimp. <laughs> oh, really? Interesting, baby back shrimp with tempura shrimp roll. Usually we don't see that tempura shrimp roll in Japan. So yeah, feels like this is American restaurants. At the end, we have Saizeria. If you are hungry, and you want to save the budget, this is one of the best places to save money. The price is about 100 to 300 Japanese yen. For example, this salad is 300 Japanese yen. Chicken is 300 Japanese yen. Skewer is 364 Japanese yen. The durian is 273 Japanese yen. Pizza is about 400 Japanese yen, yes. It's really good and cheap restaurants. The pasta is 400 Japanese yen too. So yeah, the budget for Andrew. You know what? I can't remember when was the last time I tried a lobster. So I want to see how it tastes like. It's my very first time to try the red lobster here. So let's do it. Let's go big. Hopefully. I can film it. Hello, hello, hello. Not so many people here, huh? All right, here we go. Let's eat. So those are the many items. The cocktail is about 1,000 Japanese yen and the beer is about 800 to 900 Japanese yen. And also they have the craft beer too, 700 Japanese yen. And let me see. The wine, if you want to drink it with the bottle, 4,000 Japanese yen. Hmm. I don't think I can finish it. And the uh, set menu for two, and the lobsters, but uh, I want to eat the one in front. I'm wondering which one it is. Yeah, this is the one. The lobster with mayonnaise sauce and the roast beef with garlic rice. Sounds great. And also, I want to have a drink too, you know, since we are here. <laughs> I want to drink some cocktail. There are two different kinds. One is a seaside lemonade, the other one is a sunrise peach. Ah, which one should I order? Maybe sunrise peach. Oh, it's not a peach, it's a beach. Orange juice and the guava juice, tequila. This one is a lemon juice, blue, cracao, and the vodka. Mm. You know, since we came over here by the ocean, why don't we go for the ocean wine? Because I just got the orange juice, so let's order this wine. Since not so many customers over here, I got the nice seed. And also, <laughs> look at this menu items. It's a huge fan. 
<laughs> you know, inside here, it's already cool enough because there is an AC, but uh, if I feel like hot, then I can use this fan and also I can always check the menu items. <laughs> Loving it. By the way, it's really nice see. I can see the roller coaster. Very nice place. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you know what? The Dream King? Actually, it's huge! <laughs> Much bigger than what I thought. You know, when I hear that 1000 Japanese yen for cocktail, it's kind of expensive I thought, but... Uh, I didn't expect this size. <laughs> well, I'm wondering how I can drink it. Do I have to mix it? Is there any straw or something? Maybe I have to... Oh. Yeah, 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 I guess. I have to mix it, right? Well, I haven't used to with this kind of fancy drink much, so yeah, <laughs> I have no idea how to drink. <laughs> but uh, I don't want to drink that like too strong alcohol place and, uh, you know, too strong syrup place, so... I think I'd better mix it first. I guess that's enough. Alright, so let's kanpai for Sunway. Kanpai! To be honest, I don't feel alcohol much. It's more like a lemonade, but uh, since outside it was hot, so yeah, I really love it. Ah, psycho. But uh, I need to keep it until the dish comes, so I wait because I don't have budget for the another drink. Let's wait. <laughs> All right, here we go. Actually, I have no idea how to eat. Since we are at the Red Lobster, why don't we try the lobster first? Oh my goodness, look at that lobster. <laughs> Yummy. Okay, so let me try that. Actually, I have no idea how to eat. Can I just use the fork? Mmm. <laughs> Yummy. The cheese and mayonnaise perfectly matches with love scoop. Well, before, I loved the baked cheese with mayonnaise, but now, I love lobster too, so... <laughs> Loving it. Oh, you know what? It's already gone. <laughs> really quickly gone, but... Uh, I have a hand as well. This must be good too. Itadakimasu. I was too excited, so I ate the shell too. So it was not really. Hmm. Okay, one more try. <laughs> better. Let me give you guys an advice. If you eat lobster, probably you'd better use the spoon. Oh, sorry, fork. Mm. And now, still, we have a roast beef with garlic rice. So, itadakimasu. Mmm, Roasted beef really tender, perfectly matches with this, I think the radish? Very nice garlic flavor. Mm. I like this garlic rice itself too. Excuse me. You know what? I just realized, you know, maybe I can take it away and uh, drink it much better. Smart guys. <laughs> Never mind. Well, before I couldn't spend this much money for the food because I didn't think that food as entertainment much. But uh, you know, after I started YouTube and eat so many different kinds of food, something good, something interesting, and after that, uh, I can now take it as entertainment and the best thing is that uh, I have always the excuse that uh, I'm filming so yeah this is part of my job I got eat. 
<laughs> you know, that kind of feeling I had never before, so it gives me a courage to eat more fancy food. In the future, hopefully I can try more different kinds of food and experience and I can share with you guys on the blog and if, you know, you guys say if it was good and it was interesting. <laughs> so hopefully my video will help for your next Japan trip. In that way, I can be happy and you can be happy. Everyone is happy. That's what I believe. No, I hope. I wish. <laughs> It's okay. At least I am happy, so. Love you. Mm, that was pretty good, and I'm full. The price is 4,600 Japanese yen. It's a bit expensive, however. Nice food and quality. Loving it. It was just in front of the park. Now, feels more that we are at Universal Studios Japan. I have a season pass, but August is a block out day, so yeah, even I have a season pass, I can't enter. However, September is not, and I will come back here for the Halloween vlog, so please look forward to it. Universal City Gloves. Well, today's weather focus is cloudy and rain. However, it became a beautiful day, huh? You know, I was planning to going back to Tokyo today. However, due to the typhoon, I decided to stay in Osaka a little bit more. Because of typhoon number 6 and number 7, there are so many rainy days in Tokyo and also the Kyushu region. So I think I'd better stay in Osaka. And maybe this weekend or next week, I will go back to Tokyo. After we went back to Tokyo, there are more adventures are coming and yes, Mount Fuji challenge as well. So please don't be shy. If you haven't, please hit the subscribe button and join the adventure. Don't forget to turn on the notification as well. That means hit the bell button so that you will not miss my new video and surprise live stream. Hopefully you feel like virtual travel to Japan and this video will help for your next Japan trip. Big thank you to all of the Patreons. If you haven't, please don't forget to check my Patreon account. All right, so see you in the next video. See you Ciao. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye-bye. Finally, 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 I tried a lobster. You know, the lobster is always so expensive. Always, it costs like one lobster is 3,000 Japanese and 4,000 Japanese yen, which I think that was too expensive, but uh, I always wanted to try that. And yes, finally I did. I'm so happy with it. Well, yeah, maybe, you know, my personality, I was a cheap guy, so I couldn't spend money for the kind of luxury stuff. But uh, now, I have a spirit that we are paying money for the experience. In the future vlog, I will try something that I haven't tried and... Uh... <laughs> I was like, what's going on? Yeah, the mist is coming from Universal Club, sorry. So, in the future, I will try something that I haven't tried and uh, I will, you know, spend more money for something that I haven't experienced. So please look forward to it and hopefully you guys enjoy that too. Yes, we are paying money for the experience and uh, life is only once. YOLO! Arigato everyone! Because you guys watch my video, I can keep trying something new. So, big thank you from Japan! Hope you guys enjoy that too! Arigato! Seiro! Ciao!